but the big difference is I said I didn't hear any water coming down the gutters. Now I hear water coming down every gutter, so listen here. It's Jonathan with Gutter Guards Direct. Uh, today I'm out of the garage. As you can see, there is a bunch of snow behind me. I wanted to take a few minutes now to talk about what happens in the winter time because uh, believe it or not, our website lights up every year with people complaining about icicles and ice dams and all sorts of things forming on their roof and on their gutters and on their gutter guards when they had never seen that stuff in the past. So the common thread or denominator in that case is oftentimes uh, people have just had gutter guards installed on their house earlier in the year, snow comes along and all of a sudden they see icicles forming on their gutters when they've never seen that uh, happen. So not only do our customers uh, comment about that stuff to us, but uh, a lot of folks from across the country uh, do as well. So I thought I'd take a few minutes now to show you uh, a little bit what I've been talking about in some of the blog stories that I've written and uh, uh, give you just a little bit more perspective as to what could happen uh, when it does snow uh, at your house and when you may or may not have icicles forming on your gutters and gutter guards. So stay tuned. I am on the south side gutters. It is uh, sunny, super sunny out, beautiful day. You can see the snow up here on the roof. I'd say there's about two inches of snow currently on this roof, which means if you look at the gutter guards, there's essentially about the same two inches. Maybe, maybe not even quite that. Let me uh, put my finger in there. So yeah, it goes about halfway up my index finger there, you can see. So we'll call it two inches of snow. And uh, what we may find on these gutters, which we don't have currently, we may find that they will elicit some icicles. But here's what's interesting. Look right here. See the water? There's two spots where it's dripping. I just climbed up here a second ago. There was one spot where it's dripping. Now there's two spots where it's dripping. So if you look at these two areas where they're dripping, some of that water is now rolling around that nose and it's going inside the gutter and some of the water is dripping off the edge. So once a little momentum builds up as we start to see the thawing and if you look across here you'll see the water starting to pool on top of the gutter guard. And what do you see that I don't have on my own house? I don't have gutters. I've been working on this house doing this little project where I took the aluminum siding off the house, had to replace a lot of the wood that was underneath it, and then uh, painted it. And it's just been going this ongoing project that never seems to really want to end, despite my neighbors really wanting it to end. But you notice I don't have any gutters up there right now. So that's a 25 foot run. It has a flat rubber roof up there. So you can see the, the, the black above the white so it looks kind of like the an oreo cookie in reverse so you've got white below the black and then white on top of the black the white below the black is the fascia board the black is the actual rubber roofing that's just kind of wrapped around the corner around the edge and then the white on top of that is the snow on top of the rubber roof so as we zoom in you can see that in a little bit more detail there but what do you see a bunch of really big icicles and i had i bothered to look up when i walked out the back door i would have realized i'd possibly get impaled by a really long icicle i mean that they're not actually as long as they look on camera here but they're maybe maybe the longest one up there is 20 to 24 inches if that but the point is the snow is melting on the roof it's working its way off the roof in this case there are no gutters for the the water to go into or the or the water to go into and then reform as ice so it is actually dripping off the edge in the form of an icicle yet when you look over here 
We don't have any icicles currently on the south side of the garage. And I'll pan all the way across. And this is all the micro mesh systems that we've had up here since last March. So they've been up here now for 11 months. And currently we have no icicles, but I would expect that we might see some icicles, especially if the snow doesn't melt quickly. And because it's on a detached garage, there's no heating system inside the garage. So the inside of the garage is almost as cold as the outside. So uh, it's less likely that the snow is gonna quickly melt off this roof. This is Master Shield on the south side of the garage. You can see the snow sitting on top of the gutter guard system. So most of it is encapsulated uh, underneath the snow. Uh, with with all the, the sun that we have, we're also starting to see some melting take place. So you can see the snow here on the top and then the, the slush forming or the snow turning into water underneath it. So the master shield system, the screen essentially sits uh, just behind where that snow ridge is. Uh, then there is a line of defense. Let me move this tree branch out of the way. We've got a little bit of shadow from the camera, but you can see where a few leaves are sitting there. That's a weep hole system. So any of the water that drips off the edge of the, uh, or, or basically drips forward, most of that should go inside those weep holes. And then whatever doesn't go inside the weep holes could potentially come across onto the drip lip or the drip edge of the gutter guard and drip off the top. Currently, none of that is happening. You can see a little bit of moisture where those leaves are. So clearly there's a little bit of melting going on. It's just not really obvious. So one of the things I haven't done throughout this test is touch the gutter guards in any way. Since the leaf and debris problem is uh, behind us at this point. We, you know, we've seen all we're gonna see on these gutter guards with the leaves and debris. I am gonna dig in to the um, snow here and expose the gutter guard surface so we can actually see what's happening because I'm just as curious as you are. So bear with me for a second here. So I'm just gonna carve out a little bit of area. First of all, it's pretty similar, about two inches of snow. I'm gonna put my finger in there. So that's pretty consistent from one end to the other. I'm just gonna pull a little bit of the snow away from the gutter guard surface so you can see how it exposes the screen. And we can see the screen. So, so the belief of some folks is that when, the, when it freezes over, that screen also freezes over. So that screen essentially gets encapsulated with uh, water droplets that turn into ice and then there's no way for the uh, melting snow to to drip into the gutter guard but what we're what we're not seeing right now is any water dripping over the gutter guard so making the assumption that there's some melting taking place the water has to be going somewhere so now that I've exposed that uh, I'm just gonna let that sit there for a few minutes but you can see on the screen itself and let me try to zoom in to this in a way that we can actually see it without the shadow being completely in our way. Uh, we'll look maybe just to the right there. You can see that screen and by my eye, that screen looks like it's open. So there is no, it's not frozen. It's, there's not a sheet of ice sitting on top of it. It's just the screen. And if I scratch it, you can hear me scratching the screen. So that's definitely the case. So as that snow melts off the roof, the screen is not frozen. It is open. It is available to take in the water and it will take in the water. Now the question is how much of that water will actually then drip off the edge of the gutter guard. <laughs> So you can see what I've touched. I'll zoom back out here. Uh, so I took out a four or five inch swath 
there at the very bottom and three or four inches above that. So we'll move on now down the line and we'll just take a look at each of the systems and, and what's underneath this two inches of snow. Here we're looking at the diamond mesh, uh, micro mesh system on the south side of the garage. And you can see a small line across the front. Let me try to get a better angle there. A small line where you can see the screen itself. And as I pointed out earlier, that screen is open. So it's allowing the water to go inside the screen. Now what I'm seeing that's a little bit different here is you can just see this glistening of water right here. So while there currently is no water dripping off the edge of the gutter, uh, I do see what appears to be moisture there. So it's definitely water underneath that band of metal. And this was a system that because the band sits up onto the screen itself, uh, it was a system that we had seen during heavy rains, or not even really heavy rains, but during the rain, we saw a lot more water coming over the edge of the system. So if, if there's the ability for the water to kind of skirt uh, underneath that metal and out, it will. And as I just kind of push on that, that may be indicative of something that we, we would see. Whereas if we look like next door at the leaf lock system, you don't see that water forming at the edge there. So don't know what if anything that means, but that's what I'm seeing at the moment. You can see a pine needle up there. Uh, but again, you're, you're getting the snow melting slowly off the surface. Um, it is melting off all these gutter guards kind of first. So, it, um, and as we saw next door with the leaf freeze system, we're about, you know, uh, more than a half of that gutter guard now is exposed. So as the sun's been hitting it, even as I've been down the, the road talking about these other systems, it's definitely melting the water or melting the snow uh, as we speak. And we're seeing more of that gutter guard surface exposed. So this is the uh, diamond mesh screen here on the south side of the garage. Here we're looking at Gutter Glove Pro on the south side of the garage. You can see some of that screen. So you see uh, three quarters of an inch or so of opening where the snow has melted back behind the screen and the water is going inside the screen. So you can see the screen is wet. Let me switch angles again. Get that shadow out. But you can see here just where you have some dirt residue off the roof, shingle granules and what have you. Uh, it's definitely wet there. So the snow is melting. And by the looks of it, the water is going inside the gutter. I'm not hearing any dripping at this point, so I don't think there's probably much water going into any of these systems, but I'm going to put my finger in there so that one's pretty consistent. Two inch mark thereabouts. I'll carve some snow off of this. See what we've got. So you can see as I expose the snow off the top, again, you've got the snow sitting on top of the screen itself. Some of that screen is exposed, which would allow the water to go through. Uh, so that makes sense that with the screen here, essentially the, the snow is just kind of forming on top of the screen, probably leaving a little bit of an air pocket below it. And as it warms up during the day, allows the water to melt and go inside the gutter guard into the gutter. So this is Gutter Glove Pro. Okay, now we're looking at leaf filter on the south side of the garage. Same setup as the other systems. We've got two inches of snow sitting on top of the gutter screen. We actually might have a little bit more sitting on top of this because this is the only system that doesn't slide up underneath the shingles. So 
before I say we have two inches, let me stick my finger in there and we'll get a gauge as to how much snow we have. So that comes up about three quarters or 80% of the way up my finger. So it probably puts it about three inches of snow that we have sitting on top of this system. Now I'm gonna carve out a little bit of the snow that's here since I put my finger in there just to kind of expose what we have below. And you can see, well, here, that's kind of interesting. So we have a cavity that sits behind the roof. So uh, if you look back at some of the other videos, since the leaf filter system doesn't install underneath the shingles, it installs within the gutter itself. And my particular roof has an overhang. So the edge of my roof sits farther out than where the fascia board is. So there's a couple inches uh, back behind that that obviously has created a cavity. So as the snow has come down, it has not necessarily filled up the cavity at the back. So it's, it's like a little cave back there. And my guess is that runs most of the way down this four foot section of gutter. Uh, so we just have the snow coming off the roof and kind of uh, creating a little, uh, its own little roof or a little shelf over top the back edge of that that gutter. So let me slide some more of the snow out of the play, out of play here, out of the way. And we can see how that screen looks. So again, looking at the screen, shadow is really bad. Sorry about that. Get up at an angle. We'll go up a little higher there with a the camera. So looking at that, we have some exposed screen here to the right. Let me see if I can just flick some of that out of the way. But we also have what appears to be a lot of that slush sitting below it. So because it is sitting flatter in the, on the, uh, the gutter than the other system, where we saw the uh, snow melting on the other systems, um, well, certainly on the leaf, on the leaf-free system, it's just a solid gutter cover, so it doesn't really matter. So the question would be here, is there more of this exposed screen underneath the snow? So this is just slush. If I put my finger on it, it'll just take a, probably a second to melt it. And then we can kind of see underneath it. Let me just kind of scrape that out of the way. So that's definitely the screen there. The question I would have is how much of that is just re refreezing. So is each day, are we getting uh, a certain amount of melt, a certain amount of water dropping through the screen and then later in the day, the screen refreezes. Whereas if you look over here at the Master Shield system, yes, you've got some of that snow sitting up there, but you can actually now see, see it start to melt and it does appear to be dropping through the screen. So we don't have any water currently that's coming over on the leaf filter system. So my assumption is it's doing the same thing here. As the uh, snow melts, the, the screen allows the water to pass through into the gutter and more of the water is passing through into the gutter than it is dripping over the edge, obviously, because nothing is dripping over the edge currently. This is leaf lock on the south side of the garage. Uh, similar to the Gutter Glove Pro, you can see the snow is starting to recess off of the gutter guard itself, and it has exposed some of the screen across the front, so there is no sign of ice forming on that screen. It's just open screen available to take in the water. Currently, there's no water dripping off the top of the uh, gutter guard or coming around the face of the gutter itself. So that is indicative of the fact that the water is actually going inside the gutter as the snow melts. Um, in terms of the amount of snow on there, there in the front, there's uh, maybe only an inch, inch and a half. If I go back a little bit farther, it gets it kind of into that two inch realm. So the snow is actually melting uh, you know, kind of working its way off the front. 
melting there and then working its way up. So it'll be interesting to see where this all stands same time tomorrow. Here, as I carve a little bit out, you can see the screen underneath it. So again, uh, my belief is that the snowflakes don't mat on top of that so tightly that it causes the screen to freeze over. I'm not saying that that can't happen, but the screen is available to take in the water and appears to be doing just that. Uh, we do still have a random pine needle or two up on this one. We're not looking at that stuff so much today, but while it's there, I guess you can see it elsewhere uh, as well. But the screen itself is looks like it's pretty well open and available to take the water in. It's been about an hour since I was uh, out here filming. I'm uh, here on the south side of the garage, so you can see how much of that snow has melted off the roof already, because none of it had melted off. So you're getting a lot of that water that's working its way down the shingles and onto the gutter guards. The other thing is, uh, if you look here to the right, the leaf-free system that I focused on, uh, the, the snow has melted completely off the top of that gutter cover. And water I can see from here is actually dripping inside the uh, gutter system. It's actually curling around that nose. Uh, you look at the leaf lock system right in front of us here. Uh, quite a bit of snow has melted off of that as it has on the uh, gutter glove system. And then it looks like on the master shield and the uh, leaf filter system, it's mostly where I pulled away the snow. But the big difference is I said I didn't hear any water coming down the gutters. Now I hear water coming down every gutter, so listen here. That's the master shield. This is leaf filter. That's Gutter Glove Pro. This is the, oh, let me get out of the shadow. There's the leaf lock system. That is a little bit more of a trickle coming out of the diamond mesh screen. And then this one I might have to walk onto the ponds, my little ponds. Risky, risky play. And look through the grasses and you can see water dripping out of that as well so all of the gutter guards are allowing the water to get into the gutter despite uh, snow and some slush still being on top of the screen and on the solid cover as in the case of the leaf free system I'm now on the north side of the garage, and what we don't have over here is the sun beating down on top of the roof, so it's shaded. As a result, I don't think we're going to see as much melt happening. Uh, I'm looking at the Master Shield system, so you can see the snow is mostly across not only the screen, but on the metal, uh, working its way up to the metal drip edge here. So there is a little bit of water uh, right at the front edge of that. And that water, as it continues to melt because it's past where the weep holes are, will drop drip off the edge of the gutter guard. But at the moment, it's more or less just sitting there. And if you look here to the right side, of it you can see the weep holes that I'm talking about. So this is the opening and then as you come further to the left that's where the snow kind of kicks in there over top of the weep holes and then as you continue left you can see some of the water that's melting just below the surface of the snow. So that means that water on the front will likely drip over the, the edge here uh, and then anything that's up at the screen level should mostly go inside the screen.
This is leaf filter on the north side of the garage. And you can just see the snow sitting on top of it. Uh, frankly, on the north side, we're not gonna really see any action. Uh, you, you see the snow, it's pretty much to the edge of all these systems. Uh, you can still see the debris, in this case, the pine needles that are still on top of the leaf filter system. And they go all the way across this. I can see that underneath the snow. There is a little, little ridge of ice here. Actually, let me break that away. So maybe an inch of snow and then below that snow is ice. It's all, I don't wanna say it's, I could get my finger through it, I think, but it's a, it's a layer of ice. And then you can see here where that pine needle is sitting. If I move that pine needle, actually that pine needle is stuck. It's inside the ice there. I thought maybe I could slide it out from underneath. That's also stuck to the ice as I pull on it. So the ice has encapsulated the top of the gutter guard on the north side. Now in fairness to the other systems, or in fairness to leaf filter, let me take a look at the other systems and see what we've got going on. So we'll move away some snow here as well. And we definitely have ice on top of master shield as well so it appears where we're not getting as much daylight or as much sunlight that that water is freezing on the underside of it but there we're not seeing much in the way or we're not seeing currently anything dripping over so my guess is and let's just do this let's just dig into this a little bit see if i can break that off my guess is that there's a pocket an air pocket below the ice that's allowing the water to drip underneath it and make its way into the gutter, which would actually make it less likely that water would come over the top of this because the ice is encapsulating um, the screen below it. And if there's an air pocket underneath there, until this uh, outer layer melts, we're not gonna see much movement of any water off the top of this on the north side. So. Mm -hmm. Our finding is, looking at master shield and leaf filter, that there's definitely ice um, sitting on top of the gutter guard surface or on top of the opening of the screen. Now what's interesting here with the leaf filter system is you can see this little thin line between the gutter guard and the snow itself. So that little black opening, that's actually where the ice is, um, that's the air pocket between where the ice sits above it and the gutter guard surface itself. So it's quite possible that that screen is exposed on the underside, but I just can't get through the ice to know that for certain. This is leaf solution on the north side of the garage. I'll do the same thing here that I've done with the other two systems. Put my finger in. so. We have maybe three quarters of an inch of snow sitting on top of the gutter guard surface. I'm just gonna pull some of this off, see what we have underneath it. And like the other systems, you can see a layer of ice that is formed on top of the gutter guard surface. But in this case, it looks like the ice has fully encapsulated the metal band that goes on the front side of the leaf solution system. So that is essentially trapping any of the water that might be melting off the roof and probably driving that inside the gutter. Now I'm gonna go a little higher up on this roof and see what we have going on. And that is also ice, so the roof is, this is where the roof shingles are, right in this area. And that is also ice. So that ice is pretty consistent here on the north side. The, the crusty layer underneath the fluffy snow is ice. 
that works its way all the way down on top of the gutter guard and there it sits until it melts this is leaf lock on the north side of the garage uh, if you look this one had a fair bit of debris still sitting on it it wasn't too terrible when i was up here last week before the snow most of it had blown off you can still see some of the uh, leaves and pine needles and twigs that are dangling off the edge but what's interesting is you can also kind of see underneath it so it creates a little bit of an air pocket here where it's possible that uh, we may not have any ice underneath it like we've had with the other three systems but let me put my fingers up in here and see what we've got going on so just do the finger test not quite as deep here uh, it is almost halfway up so we'll call it two inches maybe a little less knock this off and we also have a layer of ice it doesn't yeah let's go up under the roof itself just drag all that off so pretty much the same thing here I do think there's some air pockets floating around on this you can see a little bit of a gap there between the screen the metal at the edge of the screen and where the ice and the snow form so again we're not seeing any water dripping over the edge of the leaf lock system which would lead me to believe that the water whatever water is melting on this side is also going into the uh, gutter now the other thing that happens is when I was climbing up my ladder it shifted on me a little bit and I, I squeezed this and I broke away some ice that was inside the downspout so let's see if that worked its way to the bottom there's a little bit of ice there so clearly water was getting through there because it would not have formed into ice had that not been the case. Here we're looking at the Gutter Glove Easy On Gutter Guard Micro Mesh System. You can see here to the right just a little bit of the screen shining through underneath the snow and ice layer. Uh, you can also see some of the frozen water, some of the ice right here at the edge across that front edge on top of the silver banding. So imagine if it were a little bit warmer out, essentially this is what you might see. And this is one of the systems where when it was raining, we had more water flowing over the top of the gutter guard than some of the other systems. Uh, so what we're seeing here that we didn't see on the last three systems we looked at is water has pulled or puddled on top of the gutter guard surface and it's working its way towards the edge of the gutter so as the uh, snow melts ice gives way turns into water uh, odds are we're going to see that water working its way around the face so if you see all this gunk all this debris on the face of the gutter that is driven by the water so as the leaves and debris come off the roof work their way onto the gutter guard screen, whatever water is kind of pushing over the top is going to drive some of that debris around it. And then that debris, as you can see, just will cling on to the face of the gutter. Some of it will let go and some of it won't let go. So that is what remains from over the uh, spring, summer, and fall. And now what we have is just a layer of ice. So here's a little pine needle sticking through I'm just gonna pull away the snow around that. So that exposes the pine needle. The pine needle is stuck inside the screen openings because this has a little bit wider screen openings. So it allows those long needle pine needles to actually get inside the screen opening. And now it's been encapsulated by layers of ice. So we're seeing the same thing from gutter guard to gutter guard on the north side. Uh, the ice that forms underneath the snow layer also forms on top of the gutter guard. 
and anything that is already hanging out on top of the gutter guard just gets encapsulated in the ice. Here we're looking at the clean mesh, micro mesh gutter guard on the north side of the garage. I'm gonna just slide some snow away. Now when I was up here a week or so ago, there was almost no debris sitting on top of this screen, so it was pretty clean. And if I just move that snow out of the way, here, again, you can see that ice that is formed on top of the screen, uh, which means that uh, as, as the screen below it, if there's an air pocket that'll allow the water to go through it, uh, this is a system that in the springtime or the summer when we had a good amount of rain, we had a good amount of water that came over the top of it. So it would be interesting to see what we have happening here at the moment. There's nothing coming over the top of it. And I don't really anticipate that anything would. I'll dig deeper into the roof area here so you can kind of see the ice layer that forms below the snow layer. Now that snow is probably three inches deep once you get a little farther up on the, the roof. But down at gutter level, we're, we're anywhere from just a trace to probably, you know, two inches there. So this looks consistent with all the other micro mesh systems down here on the north side of the gutter. Uh, the one at the moment that seems to have the most water possibility of, of coming over is the gutter glove easy on system to my right. Um, so we'll see what happens. If I have a chance to come out and take a look at it as it warms up a bit, I will, and I'll report on it. If not, you have a pretty good idea now between the north and south side of the garage as to what's happening here with some snow and colder temperatures. I've wrapped up my walk around on both the south and north sides of the gutters, and I thought I'd just recap here what I found. On the south side of the gutter, we had snow and slush sitting on top of the gutter screen, uh, but uh, my belief was that the water was still getting inside the gutter because we didn't have any instances of water actually coming over top of the gutter guards. Uh, so the screen itself was available to take in the water. Again, no freezing on the gutter guard itself, but in line with the sun. Uh, on the other hand, on the north side of the garage, uh, there was very little, uh, what appeared to be very little melting going on. Uh, the the, the gutter, um, gutters were all covered up. The gutter guards were all covered up with snow pretty much to the very edge. And then there was a, a sheet of ice over top of each of the gutter guard systems. So again, my, my belief is that the water is skirting its way underneath that ice, going into the gutter still through the gutter guards, but uh, definitely a sheet of ice on top of each of those. Um, so the conclusion of this is yes, well, if you have gutter guards on top of your house, there is a chance that you can get icicles uh, building up uh, because not all that water can get inside your gutter. The primary difference is you're not getting all the snow and ice building up inside your gutter. So I then went next door to my neighbor's house who has five inch gutters that are open and six inch gutters that we actually installed on his house recently. And you could see there that uh, there was quite a bit of uh, ice buildup, snow buildup inside the gutters themselves. So um, while our gutters are hollow because there's no ice and snow buildup inside of it, his gutters were like an ice cube tray, which is something I've talked about in the blog stories in the past. Uh, so the question is, what would you rather have? Your, your gutters full of ice and, and snow and a tremendous amount of weight or have a few icicles uh, dripping off the edge of your new gutter guard system. So I hope that uh, helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below. We'll be happy to uh, reply to you. If you like this video, hit the subscribe and the like button. Thanks for watching.